shloka okay so the first starting is atha again okay here and now atha what is it first thing is shriman bhagavad gita okay shriman is of course divine shri whatever bhagavad gita so bhagavad gita is the song of god so shriman bhagavad gita okay atha and now and then next comes atha pratham o dhyaya so that again says atha and now okay and now the bhagavad gita and now what the first chapter that's what we want to take so and now so and now the bhagavad gita is going to be expounded and now the first chapter is beginning that's how the thing starts usually we never you know uh, pay attention to that area we feel think hey, you know let's just get it done quickly and let's just start off with the first uh, shloka that's okay we'll start with the first shloka but before that we need to understand how it starts so it starts with here and now and now starts the bhagavad gita and now starts the first chapter and the name of the chapter is arjuna vishada yoga so what is vishada what is vishada vishada is sorrow okay there are various translations like the one probably she was uh, sharing is from iskon or somewhere so it shows observing the armies on the battlefield so depending on which book you have which whichever text you have and who is written it the names are different in some places it's arjuna in despair you know and somewhere it is arjuna's dilemma and uh, so basically what you need to understand is it's all about vishada it's all about sorrow so it's a deep sorrow felt by arjuna and for what reasons we'll soon come to know okay so then first shloka says dhritarashtra uvacha now if we you know sit and listen with the concept that okay dhritarashtra is speaking and who is he speaking to sanjaya so this entire bhagavad gita is being actually told by rishi vaishampayan okay to janmajaya so now what who is janmajaya who is rishi vaishampayan okay rishi vaishampayan is uh, the disciple of veda vyasa okay so now uh, see a little bit of the back story not the actual mahabharat but the basic back story so rishi vaishampayan is telling this you know janmajaya goes and asks him you know what does happen what was happening who are my you know my grandfather and all those people so that is when rishi vaishampayan is telling him the whole thing okay janmajaya is uh, the son of parikshit king parikshit and king parikshit is the son of arjuna okay arjuna arjuna's son is uh, uh who is that fellow chakravyuha abhimanyu abhimanyu's son is parikshit and parikshit see see the confusion in names okay Ar- <laughs> arjuna's son is uh, abhimanyu abhimanyu's son is parikshit and parikshit's son is janmajaya okay so that's the family lineage so rishi vaishampayan the disciple of vedavyasa is relating this whole thing to janmajaya okay that is why it begins with dhritarashtra uvacha because he is telling somebody is telling to somebody only then we can say dhritarashtra told this and then sanjaya told this and then krishna not krishna there is no way where, where it is mentioned krishna uvacha okay it is always bhagwan uvacha so then bhagwan uvacha the narjuna uvacha so these are the people who are going to watch who are going to speak so but the dialogues are not technically direct because it's being told to someone okay so vaishampayan telling to janmajaya is the whole scene now starts the 
Gita, actually. So now the beginning starts with Dhritarashtra. Dhritarashtra Uvach. Dhritarashtra told, what did he tell and to whom? Sanjay is his secretary and his confidant and everybody. In fact, it's, he's very close to him. Okay. So now he's asking him, tell me what happening, what is happening in Kurukshetra. Now, the whole scene, we need to imagine a battlefield and everything. Okay. So, imagine a battlefield. Okay. And there, Arjuna, Krishna and all the Kauravas and Pandavas, the Yadvas, or the entire army is there. And the battle is going to begin. Okay. Here, Dhritarashtra sitting on the throne, the blind king is asking a question to his secretary. Tell me, Sanjaya, what is happening there in the battlefield between my sons and the sons of Pandu? So, you, you can read the basic translation. It will tell you what it is. Okay. Uh, gathered here to fight you, Yud Savaha. All that exact word to word translation, you'll get it in any book. So, basically what we need to understand is, Dhritarashtra is wondering what's happening on the battlefield because somewhere there is some fear that his son, okay, his favorite son and his hundred sons technically may lose out. The fear is because Krishna is on the side of Pandavas. So who you are with makes a big difference. That's why we say Satsanga. Sangha dosha, all these are words, you know. Sang, kiska sang karte ho? Who are you associating with? So the person you associate with will always and always influence you. Okay? So who are we getting influenced by? Something we need to check. Okay? So before that, I'd like to have some more videos which are switched on. Couple of them are sick so they are told they will switched off but there are some new participants and i'd like to see them so anil and dennis please switch on your videos so yeah so now let's continue okay so now coming back to the battlefield and rather coming back to the palace with dhritarashtra is asking sanjay the question the question is arising out of fear okay fear of losing the kingdom fear of Losing his sons, fear of losing the entire, you know, the buddha, the battle. Okay. So, with fear, he is asking this. Okay. So, dharma kshetri, kurukshetri. Hmm? Dharma kshetri is a field. Okay. In the field of dharma, on kuru is the kuru vansha. Okay. It's a Kuru Vansha. So right now, if you think about it, even the Pandavas, okay, whether it's the Kauravas or the Pandavas, everybody is Kuru Vanshi. But when Dhritarashtra is asking the question, he is not saying, Ki Kuru Vanshi you me. You know, between the Kuru Vanshas, what's happening? No. What does he ask? He says, what's happening between my sons and the sons of my, their two brothers and their sons. And still there is a, you know, such a huge gap. He's directly saying that, you know, I don't know. You just tell me what's happening. He's, he's kind of flustered. Because technically, if everybody is Kurus, everybody is from the lineage of the Kurus, why then there is a difference in his speech when it comes to my sons and his sons? So this shows that somewhere he is already, there is a division in his mind, okay? That I am separate, my brother is separate, and their sons and my sons. So that's where the entire feud, entire war is happening. Because he sees a difference, okay? So this difference has led to a huge war. And it's going to now start. It's not yet started. Now, the Dhritarashtra asking Sanjaya, what's happening on the Dharma Kshetra? Okay. <laughs>